Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the iCord tab cast on. This cast on can be used when you knit something with an iCord edge. The cast on edge is this short piece at the bottom. As you can see, I have I cord edges on both sides and the cast on connects both I cords so that we get a corner. First, cast on your stitches. The amount of stitches depends on the pattern. I have used the cast on for the Big Mal pattern by Hedgehog Fibers. So I will cast on three stitches, like in the pattern. Before you continue, pull on the last stitch of the cast on edge to make the stitch bigger. We will be using that stitch later and this will make it easier to identify the stitch. You can also put a stitch marker in it, but I find this easier. Now, instead of turning like we usually do, we just slide the stitches over to the other end of the needle. If you're not using DPNs, simply slip the stitches back onto the other needle. Knit across the stitches. This is one I cord row. Repeat the same thing twice more. So slide the stitches over and knit them. After the last row, turn the work 90 degrees so that the left side is up. Pick up one stitch along the side. Insert the needle under both strands of the stitch that is next to your current stitch and pull the yarn through. Now finally turn and pick up three more stitches. I will show you how to pick up these stitches. Remember how we loosened the last stitch of our cast on edge? We will now pick up that stitch and put it onto our left needle. Then knit the stitch. This is the first stitch. Next pick up two stitches that are to the left of that stitch. So put the strand onto your left needle and knit it. Again pick up the strand and knit it. To finish the row, knit one stitch and then, since we are working I cord edges, slip the last three stitches with the yarn in front.
Now turn and you have completed the cast on. In the big mall pattern, the next rows would be knit 3, KFB, knit to the last 3 stitches and slip 3 with the yarn in front. That way we get I-cord edges on both sides and continue to increase our stitch count. All of the numbers in this tutorial depend on the pattern that you are using, but the technique stays the same. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.